Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at Crypto Locker ransomware and how we can remove it from the system and also how we can recover our data because this encrypts all your files on your system. It will also encrypt files across a network and also across a map drive. So you've got to be very careful when you've got this type of infection, okay? Now, what this will do is demand money to release your data by decrypting your files once you paid for it. Now I've known people that have actually paid for this and got their data back by them decrypting it, um, but I wouldn't advise you to do that because obviously you're paying a criminal to decrypt the files that weren't encrypted in the first place. And once they start knowing that this is successful, they're gonna start making more of these things, okay? And these are really nasty. They're the worst types of ransomware that you can get. So also I wanted to cover how to protect yourself with uh, crypto locker and how you can prevent yourself from getting it by using a free piece of software from Nick Shaw. We're going to be talking about that a little bit later on. Now what you're looking at is really a, a JPEG image. It's not an actual real uh, crypto locker uh, program running at the moment. I have installed crypto locker on this system as you can see and I'll show you. I'll open up task manager and you'll see that crypto locker is running on the system at the moment. And also there's another version here that I've installed, but I can't seem to get it to kick up its little program, okay? But it is actually encrypting files and also running on my system. And I'm going to show you the removal process of this, okay? Except you won't see this, but it's going to be exactly the same thing, okay? So that's uh, Crypto Locker, and then what we're going to do is reboot into safe mode and remove it from safe mode, okay? So let's reboot our system into safe mode. Now, once you're in advanced boot options here, we need to come down and uh, select safe mode and push enter. Okay, so we're at the uh, safe mode desktop. Now we need to open up our registry editor. So we're going to go start, reg edit type that in there like that and open up the registry editor now we want to go into H key current user I'm gonna click on the plus sign here come down to where it says software hit that and you can see crypto locker has already started to encrypt files on here and if I look at crypto locker here you will see the location of the files it started to encrypt now you may have a big list of files here okay that is encrypted. Now we're going to remove this from the system. They're no good to you once they're encrypted. So I'm just going to remove these from here. I'm going to click delete and I'm going to click delete here too. And once I've done that, I want to come down to where it says Microsoft. Click on that. Come down where it says Windows and then current version and we want to go where it says run and you can see here crypto locker is on the system and it's running so we need to delete that key I'm also going to go into run once and you can see here also crypto locker is on there as well I'm going to delete that as well okay now that's done we can close off our registry editor and now I want to go into start computer and then I want to open up app data here but we want to show hidden files folders and drives so I'm going to go into the location that's infected which is Brytech now we can't see app data so we need to show hidden files folders and drives and we're going to do that by following this method now you also need to show uh, protected operating system files that's because uh, the actual malware or ransomware is hiding in there inside app data here um, we've got two locations here local and uh, roaming inside the roaming area you can see there's two files here and these are the files that were running on the system so we need to delete these they're sort of a translucent color 
and I'm going to delete those. And the next one we need to do is go back. I'm going to look in the local folder here. And again, this one is running on the system also. And I'm going to delete that. Let's say and try again. Okay, so we're just going to rename that file so it's not running. We'll just make it VIR and then I'm going to do that. I don't think it'll let me delete that yet. Nope. So we'll do that afterwards once we reboot the system. I'm going to have a look inside temp here and just make sure. There's nothing in there. You can delete all the temporary files if you wish. There's nothing in there that you will need. If anything needs it, it will rebuild itself. So now we've done that, we're going to reboot our system back to the desktop. So let's reboot our system. Just going to let Windows load up here. Okay, now we're back at the desktop here. Let's have a look at um, Task Manager. You can see there's nothing running here now in the Processes area, and that's because we uh, remove those. I'm just I'm just going to um, delete those files. it's that one there, I just want to delete that file from the system it's now gone and we can now um, hide our operating system files again, we don't need to have that visible next thing you need to do is run Malwarebytes, now you can get this from Malwarebytes website, it's a free download I'm just going to empty the recycle bin here and run Malwarebytes always update Malwarebytes and this is a free program you can use and this will make sure that the system is fully cleaned and there's nothing else left on the system okay that's the scan now finished I'm going to click OK here and show the results and we can see we've got a version of CryptoLocker there I'm going to remove this must have missed that one or I didn't delete it, one or the other. But it's all gone now, so that's okay. It wants us to restart, but I'm going to say no here, but you should restart your system. Now, once that's gone, uh, you should be free from uh, Crypto Locker, but your files may be still encrypted. Now, I did mention about the second part, which was recovering your files, because all your files may be encrypted. And if they are, don't pay for the actual decryption of your files, because criminals like these cyber criminals they will continually make more programs like this and the matter will get worse okay so this will be a method that you could use now there's a free program called shadow explorer now I've used this program before and you've seen me make videos on this you can actually recover your files or you can use system restore or something like that and revert back to a time before you was infected and try to get your data back that way this is the best option for you so let's have a look at shadow explorer um, remember I'm running a virtual box here so there won't be much on here but as you can see it's pretty straightforward it uh, sees the C drive and there will be a little drop down tab here with all of your um, backups that you've got here which you can actually revert back to okay so it's pretty straightforward now you may have a long list here and all you need to do is roll back to a time when it was before it got infected and you'll be able to get all your data back okay there's also a previous version which you can use and I'll show you how to do that which you may be able to use you go to your local area here and what you would need to do is say for argument's sake you would right click on this folder and go uh, properties here and you will see previous versions and you can see yesterday 
would be before you got infected and you could pull back files from there you could restore this open it and you will see files inside there okay and use those files to get them back okay so that's the recovery part out of the way I did talk about prevention now I also wanted to cover uh, how to prevent getting crypto locker and you can do that with a free program called crypto prevent it's made uh, by Nick Shaw which is a good friend of mine and uh, he also makes D7 some other useful applications so you can see here this is his website foolishit.com and the information on this program is here and the current version is 2.5 and he did make a video on it which will go into greater detail than what I'm going to do uh, so check his video out the link will be on the website here or I will put a link in the video itself and you can see here all the information uh, about the program and how it prevents stuff and and all this sort of information that it will give you you can download it here for free now let's have a look at the actual program itself I've already got it on my desktop here and it's pretty straightforward all you need to do is click on it and uh, click OK and as you can see it's got a very simple user interface it's got app data and local uh, app data we've also got fake file extensions executables and we've also got temp uh, extracted executables in archive files and there's a whitelist uh, executables and the reason why there's a whitelist is because some programs need to run uh, files inside app data maybe and what you can do is add those into your whitelist so it doesn't interrupt or stop those programs from working there's an information tab up the top here which will give you some more information about the product and also command line uh, if you want to use the command line and I'm pretty sure there's some information on his website about that also whitelist uh, let's have a look at the whitelist options here again pretty simple to do uh, all you need to do here is pick out the programs that you've got that you wanted to run so for instance if I click on browse here um, you will see um, if, if we add this program inside here say for instance let me just uh, paste that inside there if we had this program and we wanted to add this to our whitelist we could then click on this uh, executable and click open and then whitelist and then you can actually add that to your whitelist okay and it's as simple as that now to de -white, uh, whitelist it all you need to do is de whitelist and it will take it away it's pretty simple really to do so this will be a location for all your um, files that you will need to run say for instance you had Camtasia Studio or Photoshop and it needed a file in there you would add it in your whitelist and basically once you've done that you will need to reboot your system and you should be safe and that file will then run okay so let's have a look at the uh, test side of things if I tested this now it will give us a prevention uh, not applied or unsuccessful and the reason why is because we haven't run it yet so what we need to do is click on block it's now refreshing the group pro uh, policy and that will add in the fix for us to stop it um, any executables from running the problem is you will need to restart your PC there's nothing you can do about that until Nick finds a way around it um, but we're going to need to reboot so I'll quickly reboot this okay so now we're back at our desktop and we can now fire up our program again and we can go tested and it should say prevention successfully applied now that's all now working fine now if we did try to uh, run any executables from these locations it would not work so let me just go and get uh, the piece of malware and stick it in there and what we'll do is we'll see if it runs so here we have our bit of malware and I'm just going to quickly click on this and run it and you can see some it's trying to do something is trying to run and I'll quickly open up um, the app data folder even if we try to click on this it won't run
and you can see that's now not running it's not working it stopped that from installing so let me just uh, quickly unblock this again so it's just going to undo this it's going to update the policy again And now we need to restart, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back at the desktop. And let me just try to run this piece of malware and see what happens this time. And boom, it's gone. And the reason why that is, is because it's now gone into the system and we didn't have our program protecting us. Uh, uh, so it's actually let us install this on our system so if we look here now we've got this running okay and I'll show you the hidden files so let me just quickly show you I'm gonna show hidden files let me just disconnect that because I don't want it decrypting everything or encrypting all my map drive so what we're going to do here is quickly have a look and there you can see the file is now running inside the roaming folder and of course uh, the program wasn't running so it just let itself install it right into that location okay so that's what uh, crypto prevent will do it will stop um, crypto locker from running or any other type of malware that needs to run inside the roaming folder like ransomware and stuff like that okay so that is what uh, crypto prevent is all about uh, so it's got many uses to it and I think it's an awesome program so if you want this program and you want to use it then go over to uh, foolishit.com uh, and uh, download the program there and you've got any questions then send a message to Nick I'm pretty sure he'll do his best to answer all your questions so I think we're going to call this one done. That's a crypto locker removal process. Also recovering all your files when encrypted and also how to prevent yourself from getting infected with crypto locker in the first place. So my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you find this video useful, then hit the like button guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button and that will keep you up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any questions about crypto prevent, don't ask me, ask Nick Shaw. You know his website, foolishit.com. Also, subscribe to his channel for uh, videos on D7 and other malware removal videos, which he does. So I hope it's been helpful. See you in the next video. Bye for now.